Hey G Squad, welcome back to an episode of Is It Worth It? So this episode has this cool, amazing product right here in my hand. And basically what this is, is a knife projector you can use at home, in an office, or anywhere else you guys want to. That's up to you guys. So for this product right here, it actually has a lot of different functionality that's on here. If you guys can see on the bottom right here, it mentions some of the stuff that's on here. But first thing first, let's actually open up the product to show you guys what is included first. So when we first open it up, you can see that that is basically what the packaging looks like right there. So they do provide you guys a user manual right here to teach you guys how to use the product itself. And then next right here, they provide you guys a cable, which is USB to USB-C. So I just want to use this cable to recharge it and activate it. And then right underneath that, you can see the actual product itself right there. So let's take it all out. All right, so once we take out the protection layer right there, you can see they have a remote here as well. Let me open up and show you guys what it looks like first. So it looks like they have a power button, a LED button, a, I believe a night mode button, F1, F2, laser mode, microphone, brightness level, Bluetooth, there's RGB, white mode, and then etc. There's a lot of different buttons here. We'll test all of that in a second. All right, so here we have the product itself. That's basically everything that's in the package itself right here. So definitely really cool how for this one right here, they do provide guys a little stand to hold up the actual uh, projector itself. All right, so this is basically what the product looks like if it's in sling. So this is the top part, and then here are the side. And then here is the bottom part. So the bottom part is basically where the speaker is right here and here, if you can see. And obviously the top part right here is the projector part right here. If you guys take a look right here, you can see there's two slots for you guys to plug in a cable right here. So this one is the cable for you guys to plug in to uh, activate it and charge it up. And this right here is basically where you guys will plug in the USB flash drive if you guys want to play your own music or whatever. If we take a look on this side right here, and then if you take a look right here, you can see there's a bunch of buttons right here. If you guys are wondering what each button does, you guys refer to this folder right here. So supposedly for this knife projector, it actually has three different modes that's built in here. So you don't actually need to remove this part, which is pretty cool. And for this product, it actually gives you guys the option to do like a timer setting. So if you want to set it for like an hour, half an hour, or whatever, you guys can definitely set like a timer. And then once it's like an hour or so, whatever you guys set, it actually would turn off by itself. And the product itself has different setting in terms of like changing the brightness level and also like the flow. If you guys are wondering what are the different speed levels and everything, you guys can refer to this folder right here. And for this projector, it actually comes in two different colors. They have these in white and they also have these in black. So that's basically everything that's on the product itself. Now let's actually go test this out and see how how it works and how easy it is to use it first. So all you guys really need to do is just put this on here just like this. So it holds it up like that. It is just how you guys want to. So let's actually go power this on and actually get the batteries for the remote itself since so it's not included and we'll test everything out and see how it works. And the batteries that they use in here is two AAA batteries so you just want to make sure you guys have one ready before using the remote itself. All right, so we're putting in a battery here first. All right, so we got it in. Now let's plug in our cable to activate it. So we got it plugged in right there, so right here. All right, so we press the button right here in the back, it should turn on. Bluetooth mode. All right, so you guys can't really see the light too well right now because it's still kind of bright out. So I definitely will need to bring it in the darkest setting to show you guys, but you can definitely see that it does turn on. Bluetooth connected. All right, so let's connect it. So let's try out the speaker first. And obviously I can control all the settings on here as well. So if I play and pause it, if I want to increase the lower the volume, I can do that as well. I'm not sure if you can see it on the side or not, but it also has a light on the side as well, not just the top part. So it kind of give you guys that like night light or ambient light, which is pretty cool. And obviously you can turn that off if you just want to by pressing the LED button like this. If you can see it turns off right there and the only light is on top right here. So if I turn it back on. It turns back on all the lights. And for the button, you guys can actually control each one of these to turn on each one if you actually want to, which is pretty cool. If you guys ever forget what each button does or what it's actually for, you guys can actually revert to the actual instruction manual right here that has all the information for you guys. So that's basically everything that's on the product itself. Now let me actually bring it to a darker setting to show you guys what it actually looks like in darkness. All right, so I got the product all set up right here. So I'm using my power bank to power it on, if you didn't see. So let me go get the remote, turn off the light, and show you guys what it actually looks like. All right, so it's all dark now. Let me turn it on. Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth all right, so once we turn it on, this is basically what it looks like. So you can see all the stars, the moon, the cloud, and everything else. You can just all of that on the remote right here. And this is basically what the product looks like when it's on. So there's this part here, there's this part, and there's that part. You can control each one to turn it off if you guys want. So you can see I turn off that option right there. If we turn it back on, and turn off the other ones, that one's off. Turn it back on, turn the laser off, which is the stars, and turn it back on. And if I turn off each one, this is what happens. So the moon is gone, it's back together. 
turn off the stars, turn it back on. So when I take a look at it with everything all together, it definitely looks really cool. But for some reason, without the ocean wave, it looks a lot cooler because of a bunch of stars you can see all around. And if, and if I want to change the different colors, I can definitely do that as well. So if I change the color like this, if I change it to green, if I change it to blue, and this is white. And then the cool thing about this is the fact that it can actually mix the colors together. So let's say if I want to do white and uh, blue, that's what it looks like with white and blue. If I do white and green, if I do white and red, and then it's the same thing with the other stuff as well. So if I do red and blue. So for example, this one right here, when I use the blue option, if I click on S plus, watch what happens. It basically creates like this ocean wave with fast movement. If I click on S zero, it stops moving. If I click on S minus, it moves a little bit, but not as fast as S plus. And obviously, if you guys want to use the timer option and do that yourself, but I don't need that option right now. And there's also the brightness setting button as well. So if I click on the brightness setting button right here. So right here is the brightness setting button right here. And this is the voice control button. All right, so let's click on it, see what happens. All right, so you see that we can adjust the brightness level on here, which is pretty cool. And then we turn on the voice control button. Basically what happens in this mode right here is an automatic like light mode where it changes different colors and also the stars go into effect as well. But then this only works if you guys have music playing. So let me play a song and show you what I'm talking about. So that's definitely really cool. And obviously for the button controls, if you guys use the other option like volume up, volume down, all of that works as well. If you guys want to skip the song, you guys can definitely do that as well. So in case you guys are wondering how the button works, it's basically just click on this button right here. So that's how you guys use all the button controls right here. All right, welcome back guys. So now you saw a quick test of our service and see that everything works really, really well, super easy to use. One thing to always remember is the fact that when you actually use this product, do not shine it directly at your eye because right here it actually has one of the laser projectors, but that is basically everything that's on the product itself. Now that we can unboxing and test the product itself, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for me, honestly, I would definitely have to say that any kind of night projectors in general are super worth it if you guys want one or need one of these, especially if you guys have kids or whatever. These are super convenient to give you guys that kind of like white noise machine. So that way you can actually make it much more cooler for a room, but also help your kids fall asleep easier as well. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have this one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save the money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.